Hello and welcome to the Pulse Post Manager tutorial. Post Manager is a render post production workflow tool for Photoshop that lets you create various template based documents, batch update render elements, and manage complex layer masks. Let's open Photoshop and see it in action. You can access it from Window, Extensions, Pulse Post Manager. Since it is an extension, you can dock it anywhere you like. Enter your email address and your password and you're ready to go. The first feature that we are going to be looking at is create new document. Let's click on it and import your render elements. Select the files that you want to use and click OK. Once it's done, you have a few options that you can toggle. Give a name for your document, choose a template and decide if you want to extract layer masks from your multimats. If you use hashtags to name your multimats, Post Manager will use these names to create layer masks and will be able to replace them later on. Also, if you want, you can change the size of your document or check out the contents of the template that you chose. If everything looks good, hit Create Document. Once it's done, click Finish and close Post Manager. As you can see, it created the document based on the template that we used. It also extracted these layer masks from the multimats. If there are render elements that you wish to use and are not included here, we can teach Post Manager to use them the next time we do that. Let's manually import, uh, for example, Zdepth and create a new template based on that. Let's put it to its place. We create a folder for it, call it Zdepth. Assign a blending mode and an opacity. And now we are ready to teach this new template to Post Manager. Open it. Go into Tools and Macros and create template from file. It will analyze your document, look through all the layers and folders and create a template from it. Let's give it a name. Alright, and hit save. If you go into the settings, you can see all the templates that are there by default and your user template that we just created. Click on the inspect template button to see their contents. Next time you run create document, you will be able to select your new template. If you still encounter the situation where one of your render elements was not imported, it's most likely because it has a custom name. We can set up Post Manager to support these files as well. Let's see how it works through another example. At this time, the artist decided to call the Multimats MM and the light selects are LSs now. It's no problem. Let's go into Photoshop. And I created this document just like the way before, but this time the Multimats and the light selects are missing. Let's jump into Post Manager, go to Menu, Settings, and Manage Render Elements. Let's type MM and toggle the Import All role. That means that every single instance of MM will be imported. Since it is a multimat, let's also toggle the Extract Layer Mask button and hit Add. As you can see, from now on it's included in the list. Let's do the same with LS. Toggle Import All, and since it is not a multimat, that's all we need. When you're ready, hit Save and close Post Manager for now. Let's manually import these new elements into this document. It is enough to import just one instance of each. Now you're ready to create a new template based on these render elements. Open Post Manager, go to Tools and Macros, and create template from file. 
you can see it recognized these new elements now. Hit save. I'm going to create new document. Browse and select your render elements. Make sure you select your brand new template and hit create new document. Hit finish and close post manager. And as you can see all the LSs and MMs have been imported and all the layer masks have been extracted as well. For the sake of this demo I have created a few adjustment layers inside these layer masks. The chairs are now green, the floor is red, the stairs are blue. All of these layer masks have been created by Post Manager from these multimats and that's how they got their names from them. Let's open Post Manager, click on Replace Render Elements and let it discover all the render elements that we have used in our document. Please note that this feature only supports smart objects. When it's done, you can see the complete list and also locate the layers if you want. When you're ready, click Import New Render Elements and get your new render. Post Manager matches your new render elements to the old ones, but you can always change the selections. You can also disable certain layers if there are no good matches for them. Choose if you want to resize your document to match your new render size. You can also toggle the option to update your layer masks based on the new multimas that you just imported. Please note that the update layer mask function will only work with multimats that uses the hashtag naming convention. When everything is ready, hit replace render elements. It's done, so let's close it for now. Let's see what happened. Every single render element has been replaced and the layer must have been regenerated from the multimats. Let's see before after. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope you have a good time with Post Manager and until next time, bye bye.